hey guys and welcome back to another video so today i'll be showing you how i achieve my everyday look this is a go-to look when i'm just running errands getting some drinks with some friends or just going out to eat something very simple to do it normally takes me like 30 to 45 minutes so if you would like to see how i achieved it keep on watching before i go any further if you're not subscribed Click that button down below, subscribe, um, hit that bell notification right next to it so you'll be updated on all my future posts so you'll never miss out. And let me see, 66% of y'all are not subscribed yet, but you're watching, which is great that you're watching, but it'll be even better if you're a part of the family. So make sure you do that. Okay, that quick little run is over with. So let's get into the video. Jumping right into the face. I'm using the 25D palette from Morphe, the Oh Boy. I've mentioned this before in my other videos. This is my favorite go-to palette, especially if I wanna do something quick. And today is gonna to be a quick little tutorial. So starting out, we're just going to take a fluffy brush and we're going to dive right into we're going to dive right into this shade right here for our transition for my everyday eye um i like to keep it very simple it's either i'm just going out with my friends or just going somewhere slight nothing that's going to be like to OC where I have to like really like beat my face so keeping it very simple and then to deepen up the crease I am going to go in this brown shade right here So for foundation today, I actually switched it up because normally I'll use my um, Juvia's Place foundation, but today I use my Milani foundation. And the Milani shade that I use is Nutmeg. It's this shade right here. And I think I have, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, like 100% sure, I have powder in my eye. <laughs> it's like directly on the center of my contact with this eye. My everyday look does change. Well, it does vary because sometimes I'll just put on a liner and just call it a day. But just to give it, you know... A little bit of color, a little bit of jazz. Um, I throw on some browns, keeping it very soft. Nothing too OC. Wait. I'm going to go in with either this. Do I want to do this shade or this shade? I'm going to go in with this shade right here. I'm actually over this whole Corona season because it's definitely in the way. It's in the way for a lot of things. I can't go to happy hour. I can't go to the bar. I can't even go to the gym. I think that's that was the feather that broke the camel's back for me. Because I was slowly getting back into my workout routine. But now it's just like, well, if you can't go to the gym, where can you go? But I guess I can run around the block and do stuff in the basement in the backyard. But it's not going to give the same the same effect like 
I'm gonna be around. I don't really like being around people, so I don't really care that much. Too much about, you know, social distancing. But I'm just over it. I'm over the grocery stores being empty every day. Over people showing up at my job for coffee. That's what I'm really over. Like, it's okay to save your little coin. It's okay. Like, go home. Or at least just come to the drive-thru. Something. I don't I don't want y'all in my face. They said, distance yourself from people. But nobody likes to listen. If I feel like you're too close to me, I'm going to scream. So I'm just taking a, um, what is this called? <laughs> a clean blending brush and making sure that everything is blended together. So I'm actually gonna go into my Patricia Bright palette and I'm going to Shining Shining, which is the shade right here. And just dust that all over the lid. Just to make the outside just a tad bit darker. I'm just going to go back into that shade and just build it up just a, a little bit more. Just a tad. And I'm taking a smaller blending brush. So I finally saw us for the first time the other the other day and oh MG. Was I expecting that plot twist at the end? Absolutely not. Don't know what I was what I was expecting, but it wasn't there. The little boy knew. I don't know what that lady told him while they was underground, but he knew something wasn't right. He knew the secret. My everyday look consists of, like I said, either just a plain liner or a brown eye, something simple. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to hop off camera, I'm going to draw my wings, and then we're going to come back and finish off the face. So, um, rather than lining my waterline with my jumbo pencil from NYX, I'm actually going to take this liner from Maybelline Eye Studio, this gel liner, and pop that on my waterline instead. And this is an angle, this is um, the M217 brush from Morphe. And without dipping back into my palette, I'm just gonna use the rest of the powder that's on my brush just to give it some color for the lower lash line. And for mascara, I'm using the Push Up Drama from Maybelline. And I'm going to do the bottom first. I kind of did this backwards because usually I'll pick out what lash I'm wearing first. And then I'll coat my lashes so we'll have some time to dry. But. Oops. And for lashes today, I'm wearing the Iconic Collection from INV in the style 30. Okay, so for blush, using the Makeup Geek in Summer Fling. And for highlight, I'm using the Master Chrome in Molten Golden. No, this is definitely Molten Topaz. 
just for a natural glow, nothing too bright, nothing too OC. And for my inner corner, um, I'm going to go into, let's do a pop of color. So we're going to use this pink called Superwoman. And it's just a matte pink. And pop that in our inner corner just for some color. And just blend that out so it won't be too harsh. Mm -hmm. So I'm blending that up into my lid and onto my waterline. And then, just to give it some more shine, I'm going to dip into, I'm gonna dip into Diamonds for Breakfast, which is the shimmer shade right on top of it. Mm-hmm, yep. Yes. Yes, ma'am. So let me pop on these lashes and then um, we're going to get into the lips. Spray the face. Put the wig on. Put some clothes on. And wrap up this video. Okay, so lashes are on. Love it. I really do like this pop, pop of pink crystal in the corner. It's giving severely now for lips for lips i like to keep it very very extremely simple i do have a nude combo lip that i always go to and all these products are from nyx this one that i'm using now is from their push-up collection in the shade after hours the butter gloss in creme brulee y'all see that oh that's so pretty i like that Milani has two setting sprays. Is it two? Well, I have two of the setting sprays from Milani. This one is the Make It Last. It's their 16 hour wear setting spray. And they also have a matte one. Uh, but I ran out of that one. But these are two of my favorite drugstore setting sprays. If you don't want to pay $16 for the morphe one go drugstore and just pick up some or you can go to ulta and use your points all right and i will be right back so we can wrap up this video okay so here we have our final look their dog is out and i'm so concerned about that dog but whatever <laughs> our final look Normally when I do go out, I throw in a hat because nine times out of ten, I don't feel like gluing my wig down. So my hat is my go-to, okay? So, yes, and I got these earrings from, I want to say Shein. Yes, I got my earrings from Shein. They came in a pack. And, mm -hmm. yes, I only have two piercings on this side and just one on this side. It gets a little cute little mm, pizzazz, whatever. And this shirt is a plain white tee from Misguided. Came in a little pack. You get a black one and you get a white one. Um, yeah, so this is the look for today. My everyday go-to Russian put-a-face on. This took me about... 
Well, if I wasn't recording, it'll take me about 30 to 45 minutes to do. So it's very, it's a very quick look for me. Just something simple. Like I said, if I'm going out somewhere quick, if I'm catching some drinks with my friends or get something to eat, just throw this on, boom. I just want to thank you guys once again for tuning in to another video, sharing the love. Um, like I said, I got, I achieved this look from my Oh Boy palette from Morphe. Definitely recommend everybody to get this. Pretty browns, neutrals, every day. And then the Patricia Bright palette picked it up as well that's $25 the Patricia Bright palette is $25 and then the old boy palette when I purchased it it came in a pack it came with the old boy palette and the hey girl hey palette off of the Morphe website so I'm pretty sure that they're still up there they might not be together but they are um, sold separately so definitely get your hands on that as well Make sure you like comment and you subscribe and also hit that bell post notification button so you will always be updated on when i do upload a new video so you will never miss out on a cute beat all right so until next time i will definitely hopefully i will get to see you guys later bye